welcome to Nora's Cove. I'm Yoshida. Today we're going to be doing our paycheck to paycheck, my weekly budget check-in. So if you want to follow along, go ahead and get your notebook, your planner, some paper, or whatever. I am self-employed for those who are new here. And if you're self-employed as well, um, I highly suggest that you click that subscribe button so that you can get more content like this from me. So let's get started. Okay, you guys. So today... We're doing paycheck to paycheck. And y'all, guess what? My taxes is coming this week. I'm so excited because I'm ready to pay bills. I've never, I don't recall ever, <laughs> been excited to get my taxes to pay bills. But I can't wait to start my emergency fund. And I will be doing my first um, cash stuffing for the year. So before I get sidetracked, let's run down what happened last week so last week was march 7th through the 13th this is our quick little overview we ended up making 757 dollars um i didn't do nails i could have done nails but it snowed and i just didn't feel like it so that was that shopify actually this goes up um i put 101 dollars then i did like a group sale and sell in my group I'm just waiting on one more invoice to come in, but uh, it's like $45, so $145, let me just loop that together, and then we made a total of $857 plus that $45, so we didn't do too bad, um, Shopify didn't get paid, that's going over to this week, Carnote did get paid, T-Mobile, um, that was kind of part of the week before but that was the money that we used so we did use about 200 Boothman got paid car insurance didn't get paid something else came up i'll look back through my other planner because that keeps me accountable because when things come up i generally write it down and there i'm still going to set this up but i'm debating if i want to make this like my budget planner plus home planner so let me pull out the A6 and see what else did we pay last week. We did, let's see, oh, Credit One got paid, Walmart got paid, Carno got paid, and the booth rent got paid. And we didn't do car insurance. And that was just a note to myself. So this is my guide for this week. And let's hop right on in. Okay, if you're new here, my three sources of income is number one being hair. I'm a hairstylist. Next up, I also do nails. And then I'm going to stop putting Shopify and putting Norris Code because, um, let's put NC, because like I said, like I did the sale on Saturday and that was pretty much for Norris Code. So hair, we're going to generate... Our 750 seems to be working. Nails, I know I'll probably do two sets of nails. I'm gonna put $70 this week for nails. Norris Cove, I have some orders to get out. Some paid with credit card. Uh, let's put, ooh, I haven't even added up, but let's put 70 for Norris Cove. And then this week, because we are expecting our taxes, let's put miscellaneous. Now, it says I'm getting one thing. I'm going to kind of ride out a little under, but let's put 3000 for our miscellaneous. And we have so much to do with this. I don't even know, but let me get my calculator. So we're looking at $3,890 as our total. And we'll come back and check in next week to see what that really is. So again, this week we have, this is the 14th through the 20th. On the 15th, we have Capital One. My intentions is to give Capital One $100. Okay, next we have Citibank, and that is due on the 17th, uh, and I want to pay them down some, and my intentions is to give them $100, 
We'll see how that goes. Barclays on the 18th. Now this one, oh God. Oh, I wanna give them 500. Jesus Christ. Because I'm still over the amount and I think 500 will bring me down with like a extra $100. Um, car note number two comes out this week. And that is 181.60. Okay. Car insurance. So I'm paying for last month and I'll probably double up. Um, I'm going to try to pay that. So the 16th, I'm going to give them a call and see what I can do. If they can give me just a small extension. And then I'll go in later and pay that extra. So car insurance, uh, 206. I may pay more. I'm not sure. Um, and my boots are rent. That is due on the 19th. Boots are rent. And that's 250. And then T Mobile actually is due like on the 14th. I have the 18th down here and I have 284.37. So I have the wrong date. It's not getting paid on the 14th, but it'll be getting paid somewhere along the way. And that says, I'm going to give them more because I want to definitely pay them down. 284.87. I'll be giving them more, but we're going to see what we're working with. So let's do a little calculating. We have a total of $1,622.47. I feel like I'm missing something, but I'm not. 16, $1,622.47. I'll probably leave the change off. This is my total of bills. So, over here under debt, I want to probably give T Mobile. an extra hundred. I gotta do some subtracting too. Um, I'm gonna skip down here to cash envelopes and I'm gonna put hubby, put destiny. And hubby, I wanna give him 500 to help with any bills. My daughter destiny, I'll be giving her 250. I just hope all this add up. <laughs> Uh, it was something else. Oh, my emergency fund. Now, I generally said I wanted to give my emergency fund a thousand. Um, if that extra is there, I'll do it. But for right now, I'm going to do 500. So now I'm kind of doing it a little backwards, but I'm going to take the 16, 22, 47, and subtract it from the 38, 90. leaves us with 2,000, put it up here, 2,000, I hate the glare on this uh, calculator, $2,267.53. So then we're going to subtract this 100, so that leaves us with $2,167.53, and then we're going to subtract 500 from that. Put it down here. Hold on. I should know it. <laughs> I, I don't even want to guess. Hold on. That leaves us with sixteen sixty-seven. That don't sound right. But that's it. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Plus. Yep, that's right. Sixteen sixty-seven. That's our balance. I'm just going to put balance here. And then we're going to subtract 700. $967. That's what we should have remaining. That's just a little cushion. 
like again i could afford to give emergency funds some more but i just really don't know because i know that i owe some taxes somewhere some old taxes and i'm just thankful to be getting something so we're going to leave it like this but we're doing much better oh definitely you know what i'm thinking about it i want to put savings my regular savings i'm gonna throw a hundred in there so that leaves us with 867 dollars Okay, so I'll let y'all know how this goes next week when we do our check-in. Let's pop this back in. So, have you gotten your taxes yet? And if so, um, did you put a lot of it to bills? Like, I don't think I need anything. You know, I want to do a video on my wins because even, you know, having a small amount of money, getting paid less since the pandemic. Um, just, I've still paid off, been able to pay off two credit cards and a loan and a pandemic making less money. Uh, my loan with in, um, Navy Federal is paid in full. I no longer owe that, so I have an extra $100 a month. And I think I'm gonna start putting that into my savings or either towards one of these uh, credit cards. So that's it. And also I'm supposed to be putting money into a month ahead. So with some of this extra money here, that's gonna put me with some extra ahead. I kind of have it written down of what I'm gonna do with it, but um, we'll just see how much it is when it gets here. So I'm super excited. I think I'm just gonna transfer that. Um, when I do my cash stuffing, I'm gonna just transfer the emergency fund over um or however and y'all i can't wait to do my cash stuff because i haven't done one this year but thank you so much for watching if today was your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video and you would love to come back for more uh please do me a favor it really helps me out if you hit that subscribe button leave me a comment below also hit that notification bell so that you're notified whenever i upload new content and i'll see you in my next video bye